welcome to another segment of Beautifully Bold. I am Honorable Mills. First of all, if you're not drinking from a wine glass customized by Beautifully Bold, I don't know which wine glass you're drinking from. Make sure to go online and purchase your wine glass, you guys. We got a lot of amazing things on there for you as well. Today on Beautifully Bold, we have the one and only drum roll. Come on, you guys. We got to get a little bit of jump. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. She is the CEO of Prima Luxury Wigs. I mean, guys, ladies, she is going to have your wigs slayed, snatched, wherever <laughs> that you go, colored, dyed. I mean, she got it all, you guys. Introducing to you. You ready? You ready? ready. Introducing <laughs> to you, Miss Abena Pre Madonna. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Auntie, thank you. Thank here you, on Beautifully thank you. Bold, we are embracing your beauty, mm. captivating your gifts. I am honored to be here. And acknowledging your strength. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, my love? Um, pretty How is good. It? Everything is well. First of all, I just have to stop her for a minute. You guys, she is looking gorgeous. <laughs> For those that you are on Instagram live, if you can't see, look, you're going to see her. Just make sure that you hit that YouTube <laughs> button and you subscribe <laughs> enough subscribe. to see her. She is looking beautiful. She's beautiful inside and out. Thank you. So are you, ah, Dee. Wow. <laughs> you are just beautifully bold glowing. Thank you, baby. Thank wow. You. Thank you so much for joining us on Absolutely. here. Absolutely. It's a privilege. Thank you. Um, how's <laughs> everything going? Um, Everything's well. Okay. Can't complain. By okay. the grace of God, yes. we're living, so everything yes. is all right. Yes. I just have to congratulate you on graduating. Thank you. you know, class of 2018 <laughs> out there, you guys. She, thank you. Thank you. She thank did thank it. You. She did it. So, what exactly did you graduate with? Um. So I graduated with my um, bachelor's in science. I majored mm -hmm. in health science and minored in biology okay so yeah so wow it's only been a couple months wow. like may wow. and it feels like i don't know i just yeah. sleep and yeah. waking back up yeah like i feel like i have to go to class okay so, i don't me i wasn't it's feeling like that. that i just i, really I was feeling like, like school is over let me <laughs> sleep like i don't have time to be going back to like how 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 was it for you when you were in school, I know when you were in school, you were um, keeping your business mm -hmm. going, and I was just watching you. You were just right. customers were just flown in right. left, left, right, right. How how was all of that? Honestly, like my priority is mm -hmm. school. It's always been school because mm -hmm. I have some goals that I want to reach. Mm -hmm. So like, I have my customers. I made them know that okay, okay I'm in school at this time. Okay. If I used to do two three mm. wigs for you mm. i probably won't be able to do that much mm. probably like one and that'll be like on the weekends when okay. i probably came home i'll be okay. able to do that okay. so i was kind of like you know mm -hmm. doing both of the stuff together mm -hmm. but most most importantly it was my school and my okay. studies so yeah that was that but mm -hmm. they worked with me so mm -hmm. that was just amazing mm -hmm. yeah most of my customers they were like okay you know we're just finished with school graduate okay. come home we'll always be here and okay that was it yeah. wow that girl so a lot of it has to do with time management correct? absolutely mm. yeah how did you balance and, all that because college life right. and business life college is definitely hard mm. it's a whole ball game on itself Charlie, and like them, right mm. y'all don't understand <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah like it got to a point where i was just like you know what like, I need this money, but mm -hmm. I'm going to have to put it on the side and really focus on my work. So I would just mm -hmm. let the customers know, like, I can't really deliver on time. Like, I just can't. So, you know, like, it's not working for me. Like, managing mm -hmm. the time, doing right. all that is not working for me. So right. I just, something got to give. Okay. So it was that. Okay. But so, I let them know when I come home, like, okay. I will be there to deliver. And, okay. And so who are, who, are your, who are your main targets in, in, in the business? In the industry? Yeah. Honestly everyone mm. from like mm. us young girls yes. to like old women yes. you know sometimes some old women just want something simple they don't want Correct. the job they don't want they the high school yes. i don't want the high they don't want all of that mm. stuff so yeah i work with them so mm. yeah i don't really like put like i make the spectrum broad enough for everybody okay. yeah okay. not just a specific group of people okay. so yeah okay. i think mostly it's everybody okay. all kinds of women okay mm -hmm. so so how are you able to so is it that you do it at home or you also do it in school honestly i did it at home okay. due to the fact that my machine mm -hmm. i i make the wigs with my sewing machine okay. so that was home and 
I didn't think it would be convenient for me to bring it to school okay. because like it's not a quiet machine. Gotcha. It makes a lot of noise so gotcha. and I have like a I'm in a dorm. I wasn't okay. living off campus, okay. so I didn't want to disturb other yes. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Most right. people, they would just be kicking exactly. you out. So like, get out, get out, get out. Exactly. Yeah, making noise. And, wow. like, tell on me to the mm. RAs and stuff. So I wasn't mm. trying to have no problems. Them RAs. <laughs> them RAs. We got them RAs. They don't yes. play. But right. how are you loving, because this is all about young entrepreneurship. Yeah. How are you loving, how are you loving the, um the you know being a young entrepreneur how are you how are you be able to balance all that is the money sufficient enough for you because i know when you're in school right. you're trying to use the money to pay your bills yeah. and all that how are you loving the young entrepreneurship life I see, yeah. okay actually i'm gonna start with like a little bit of history Go because ahead. like mm. <laughs> History. It's been about five years since mm. I've been doing wigs. Mm. I think I started when I was like 14 or something. Wow. And my whole purpose for doing wigs was because like my mom does hair. Okay. But she was always busy. So okay. like when I needed my hair done to go to school, yeah. like high school and stuff, like my mother wouldn't have time to do my right. hair. So I would get frustrated. Right. So then I was like, okay, like let me do this myself. Because mm. when I go to my mom's shop, I see her doing people's hair. Yeah. So I was kind of learning a little bit of whatever she was doing. Okay. Okay. And um, I bought all the materials okay. little by little. Okay. I remember sewing with my hand. It'll wow. take me like a week or what? two, and I would still be on the same unit. So you so had that patience. Like yes. you had to have patience for I that. I actually did. I would have gave up. Y'all. <laughs> I, mm, I got, mm, mm, I got time for that. Mm, mm. And yeah, I was a rookie with everything. Mm. I was starting off like entry level everything mm. was just bad but i was trying okay. i wasn't giving up so okay. like i remember my first wig that i did and i went to take my high school photos it was mm. just a mess really? like and looking really? back now i'm like what did i do Dude. like this was just really messy okay. so i just really sewed like the bundles mm. like so tight and just sewing with the the machine yeah no no, no the Sewing with your hand versus okay. the machine, it was different because the yeah. machine's thread yeah. is thinner. Yeah. So sewing with my hand, it was just heavy. Like okay. the wig was heavy, my neck would be breaking. Wow. But I would still wear it anyways because it was better than wow. not having my hair done. Wow. So I just kept on going, like mm. kept pushing regardless mm. of the fact that it wasn't like the best. Okay. I just kept pushing and pushing until now mm. I can honestly see that I'm doing a good job. Yeah. Like when I do hair, it actually looks good okay so i didn't just start like a couple days ago please like let them know ago. because i'm, I'm always <laughs> look look you guys i've been watching this girl on instagram snapchat i mean she'll be coming home and she goes all the way Frostburg university it is so yeah it's so far girl right and you manage to come home every week just, yeah look the people time. are dedicated right Okay, you guys out there, people are dedicated to do beautiful and wonderful things for you guys. And y'all just, y'all just gotta appreciate it. Business people out here, look, they're not telling you how many sleepless nights they are getting. All you see is the finishing product. Right. Am, am I wrong? Oh, that's am I absolutely wrong? true. Like, that is true. And I didn't even know you went through you went through all of that. Because, you know, not a lot of people are there from right. the beginning. They just see the finished product, as, yeah. as, mm-hmm. I, as I'm saying. So yep. is entrepreneur, like being a young entrepreneur, is this, is this something that you want to keep doing for a long term? Or is it just for the fun of it? Because I just got to ask. Some people Honestly, just do it for the fun of it. Honestly, I can't really give like an answer set mm-hmm. in stone because like, Starting wigs is kind of like a hobby for me. Like, okay. if I wasn't watching TV or something, mm. I would go do wigs. Mm. So it's kind of like something that I just do okay. to, like, I don't know, pass time. But right. then again, it gives me money. money. Yeah. yeah, so I would say both Everybody of wants it. that capital, sister. Thank you, honey. Capital. So, <laughs> mm. so at this mm. point, yeah, I, I would definitely say both mm. because, yes. I do it for the fun of it. Like, okay. it's different when you're doing something and you like doing it versus yeah. when you're just doing it because you yeah. have to do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that would be what, what yeah, it is, that would right? Be my answer okay. So that. where do you see yourself in the next, in the next um two, three? Or we can say <laughs> one, two, three to five years from now. Where do you feel like you will be? Because. I see you to be everywhere, baby. Yes, I girl. I see you to be doing wigs for all these, you know, celebrities out there. I see you to be doing it. There's no way that, you know, you're not going right. to, you're going to make it far. And I believe Thank in you, you so honey. much. That. Thank you, Tell her, she's Thank a, you, she's, she's a Thank beautifully, you, she's a beautifully <laughs> bold sis. Okay, she's a beautifully Absolutely. bold sis. Yes. But where do you feel like you're going to be in, in, in the next 
one year, two year, three years? Where do you feel like you're going to be? Or honestly, where would you like to see yourself be? Honestly, I would like to see myself being mm. a step closer to mm. my goal, mm. which is ultimately like making my brand bigger. Okay. Um, just besides the fact that I'm a graduate, I have my degree okay. and everything. Okay. I see doing wigs for yeah. my luxury as yeah. like my part time hustle. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But like. In the next couple of years, I would mm. definitely want to see it grow mm. for me to be able to teach other people yes. to like kind of learn ah, Jesus. how I've learned. Please come yes. and teach me <laughs> because I'm so bad at it. You guys, it's not even funny. Like I'm so bad. I remember. I'll give you a quick, a quick synopsis. I I'm so bad at it because I remember doing. I hate people touching my hair. <laughs> right. That's, I hate people touching. They'll be grabbing it left mm, and right. And mm, I said, mm. you know what? I'm going to do something right. just for the fun of it. And I did try making... You've seen the wigs that I've made. I did. Yeah. It's, it's not my business, good. though. It's, it's really... not my business. <laughs> it's just something that I did for myself, too. Because I love doing stuff with my hands, yeah. too. Um, mm-hmm. And and I, people were like, oh, my God. It's so amazing. It's so this and so that. I'm like, yeah, no. I, let me I tell Let me tell you. Let me tell you who's really good at that. It's really good. I've been at Prima Donna. It's really good at that. Y'all need to get our... Look, you guys need to follow her on social media platform. We're going to put that down below the link. Make sure that you guys do follow her. I mean, she's doing amazing and wondrous things out there, you guys. God. Make sure that you hit her up. She's a beautiful, nice girl. Beautifully you know, bold. Making her business pop. Getting that capital. Please, when you get that capital, pass it to me. I need that. Ah, she's a um. See? <laughs> yes. Support your own. That is what it's called. Support yes, support your absolutely. own. Absolutely. Wow, Abna. This is this is just so amazing. All these yeah. things that you're, you're you're doing out there. <laughs> I mean, what is one thing that you would love to say to the viewers out there? Those who are starting their own business. Um, those who who are feeling like people are not supporting them enough. Because, like I said, starting from the bottom, behind the scenes, nobody sees the yeah, hard work and dedication yeah. and sleepless nights that you are going through. What right. is one Thing or two things that you would love to say to those entrepreneurs out there starting their own right. thing? Um, first of all, mm. I would like to say perseverance mm. is key. Mm. Like, you just got to keep pushing, mm. honestly, because you don't want to even talk about yourself that yes. much. You want your work yes, to, talk, to talk, you know what I mean? Yes. So, like, that's just one thing I would say. So, mm. as you keep pushing, you get better. Yes. Everything that you do, it always starts from you being, like, pretty mm. much like i don't mm. know you don't yeah. know what to do right. but the fact that you're willing to learn mm. every time every mistake that you do like, like i feel like every mm. mistake i feel like i learned something even better okay. and like i won't like it makes me not repeat myself mm. anymore and even when i repeat it i'm still able to say okay this is what i did mm. and like i'm not gonna do that anymore one mm-hmm. thing that i used to do when i was doing hair was like yeah. i would bleach hair mm. like i wasn't in i was in a rush mm. so i would use like 30 volume 40 wow. volume and just literally fry the hair so wow. yeah <laughs> i'm not here this today you guys wow i, I will no. fry my bundles that i spent my bread on and mind mm. you this was me in high school i didn't have that money mm. so like this hair would be fried and literally mm. be falling apart in what? my hand. And that taught me a lesson. Wow. Don't use 30 volume or like this kind of hair, especially when you're trying to bleach it to like mm. blonde blonde. Mm. So that was my one thing. It was perseverance. I didn't give up. Mm. I should have given up seeing that I wasted all this money, money. on the hair. Yeah. But I didn't. I yeah. still went ahead and okay. I tried. Okay. And then I mastered the act the art that mm. okay this is what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do oh like the people out there no matter who's doubting mm. you just believe in yourself mm. it doesn't even have to do with just hair mm. whatever business that you have whatever mindset yes. you have yes. like just start up on it wow. no one believes in you more mm. than you believe in yourself okay. so honestly mm. that's just the one thing that i can tell like I don't care who doesn't believe in mm. me so far as God got yeah. me. Chale, so far as I got myself, I'm good. God God, yes. God, God got us all. I'm telling yes. you, if you believe, and I keep saying, if you believe in yourself and, um, you know, you persevere, you got to work on your time management. Thank time you. Man- management is, every, especially in, in this USA. <laughs> Nah, if you don't work on your time management, Chale, your capital is going right out the it's window. Out. It's, it's, it's out. really out. But um, just like Abina said, keep keep persevering. Yes. Um, keep your time going. Keep you know 
don't just don't just do it because you love it. Do it as then you know that you're, right. you're making somebody mm-hmm. else happy. Yes. You're doing yes. something yes. for somebody, and you're most of all you're letting your business to grow. Yes, do you get what I'm saying? You're letting your business to grow. And I always want to ask this question. Um, mm-hmm. a lot of people tell me if I'm I'm wrong or, or right. A lot of people when they start their business, they're like their first target is not Africans because Africans will just make your your business <laughs> your business collapse. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, that's what I'm hearing. I didn't say, oh, don't go and quote me when I'm saying. I want to know what, who, who were really, 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 really your target, <clears throat> which, which it could be Africans. It can be Americans. It could be Asians. Who were, who was your real first target? Who was your real first Wow. My target. target. Mm. Listen, mm. Mm. it's honestly the African American mm. okay. and then uh, no, hmm. I think it was a couple African okay. friends that I okay. had, and okay. then the African American. But mm-hmm. you know, there's levels to African. Preach, <laughs> preach, sister. You preach. know, some of us, right? Preach. We feel like okay, if my fellow African was doing this, I probably mm-hmm. wouldn't support them as mm-hmm. much. But if another, mm-hmm. say, Black American was mm-hmm. doing it, they probably would. Yeah. But that's just our nature. Yeah. And I feel like, like I yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like. Strangers, and we're, we're being real. Yeah. Um, I feel like strangers tend to support um, new business yeah. owners, new entrepreneurs yeah. Yeah. out there mm-hmm. more than somebody that is close, close to, to you. you. Isn't yeah. that so weird? That's weird. And like, I'm not even speaking for people out there. I'm yeah. speaking for all of us yeah. in general. Yeah. It's just really weird. Yeah. But like, as I'm growing up, I'm mm. starting to think that, okay, mm. if I need support, mm. I should like reciprocate. I should yes. be able to support my yes. friend. Yes. Because at the end of the day, when I need them, they, yeah. I would want them to support, support. me. So mm. in order for me to get that, I mm. have to give something. Mm. So I'm still learning. Every Each of us is like, we're all learning. learning. Yes. So like, if, you, if you're just willing to mm. be able to lend a hand to somebody, I think okay. that's even better. Like, yes. you know... If somebody's having a thing, mm. go out there, mm. support. Mm. If you can't make it, let it be a genuine reason. Don't right. keep giving Give excuses, excuses, ah, excuses. Thank because God, it dude. gets old. It gets thank, old. Thank God. So, yeah, that would be mm. my one thing. And also, I would say, don't rely on people. Because that was... <laughs> thank you. Don't rely on people. Please do not rely on people. Rely on yourself and God. Mm. Because at the end of the day... A man is a man. Like, mm. we're all human. Mm. We fall short. Yeah. So, yeah, I would definitely say that. Mm. But for the African communities, if we want something, mm. we will get it. Mm. So if we if we don't want it and mm. we don't want to support, it's just something that we're doing. It's yeah. not because we can't do yes. it. It's just because yeah. we don't want to do, do it. it. That's just how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be So to your viewers out that. there do, who, who want to actually get in contact with you, can you just give us your social media handles? And also, before we move on to that, are we waiting for a website to be uploaded? I mean, <laughs> Charlotte Media, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, it's lit. I'm ready. Are we are we waiting for a website? What what are we what are we waiting for? Because we so, wanna um, see everything that you're you're selling, your handiwork, you know, right. we wanna keep acknowledging your strength. That's the thing. Yes. So tell us tell us your social media handle. Mm-hmm. And then also, if we're waiting on a website, right. if the website is under construction Today, because I'm yeah. the first one on there. Trust me, believe that. So let us let us know so, what's um, popping. Yeah, my Instagram mm. is abina underscore primadonna. Mm. P r i m a d o n n a. My Snapchat. Those are the two accounts that I usually use. Okay. But my Snapchat is um, sewa s e r w a a h underscore s t y l. And that's my Snapchat. And um, your if business it's personal stuff. Yeah, okay. my. Your I business don't have. Instagram, okay. Yeah, my business Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Yes. My business Instagram is Prima Luxury Waves. Mm-hmm. So it's Prima Luxury, P R I M A L U X U R Y underscore Wigs, W I G S. And that's my business. So thank you so much. I almost forgot. Ah, girl, yeah. you know I got you. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us once yes. again. Ah, Charlie, this girl is beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been Thank you, Dee. I'm so privileged. Mm. When you called me to be up here, mm. I was just so excited. I'm like, wow. I see this as being like as a huge thing for me because yeah. 
you don't see a lot of this stuff yeah. out there, right? Yeah. Like, you don't see women, like, holding each other yes. and you being, like, a young CEO. Yes. I was just <gasps> excited. I was genuinely looking Aww. forward to this day. So, I'm privileged. I'm honored She's about to, to make me here. cry. And say, I, I don't so cry, first of all. happy to be here. I don't cry. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Abna. Absolutely. It was just a pleasure. You guys, this was another section of um, Beautifully Bold. Here, we are embracing her beauty, captivating her gift, and acknowledging her strength. Thanks so much for joining us. See you later. Cheers.